with the British monarchy, you know, is that a lot of people don't realise that they have an excellent sense of humour. I know that might not necessarily come to the fore because even our late monarch, Her Majesty the Queen, was always incredibly reserved while out and about in the public domain. But she had to be. You know, you couldn't necessarily be caught off guard or indeed be laughing at an inappropriate moment because that picture could be taken, twisted and used at a further fetch, particularly in the media. And she herself was very aware exactly how the media worked. The person actually who schooled Queen Elizabeth in how the media worked was simply this. Elizabeth. You see, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, was very savvy about the world of broadcasting. That's all thanks, of course, to her schooling of King George. Let's not forget the King's speech and exactly what she had to go through in order to make sure that he was broadcast ready. Of course, he never actually made it onto television as such. He was there for the newsreels and all that sort of stuff. But she was very aware exactly how the media could twist certain things. Hence the reason Queen Elizabeth was very cautious around most media. But there was one area that she truly enjoyed, and that really was meeting comedians. As I've told you before, comedians absolutely adored performing for the British monarchy because it was a chance really for them to have the sort of validation, you know, there you are by royal command performance, making a lot of fun, of course, for the royals. And she loved, as did the Queen Mother, so many famous royal comedians. Now, one of the most famous, of course, that they both enjoyed was George Formby, but other American delights in included Laurel and Hardy. They used to always have their movie screened at Windsor Castle because time and time again they found the duo very very amusing. Now what was interesting was when you look at the <laughs> Prince Philip the Duke of Edinburgh he literally as I told you before like the wrong side of comedy some might suggest the more archaic you know the ones that you shouldn't necessarily like particularly like Chubby Brown and of course Bernard Manning but these were private thoughts these were private but uh, sort of laughter moments as it were. But one comedy duo that truly, truly took the Queen off guard was none other than the British comedy duo Cannon and Ball. Cannon and Ball were incredibly successful throughout the 70s right through until the early noughties. Sadly, Bobby Ball is no longer with us. Tommy Cannon is still going strong and has a marvellous voice and is still touring up and down the country. But what I like about this particular story is this. I've been lucky enough to meet Cannon and Ball on a number of occasions and they've performed in front of royalty on a number of occasions too. Now, they were always seen as the more modern view of Morecambe and Wise, if you like, breaking box offices up and down the country with a record-breaking stint at the North Pier in Blackpool in 1980. Wonderful time. Now, apparently, according to Bobby himself, basically their very first meeting with royalty was kind of caught off guard. They were at a charitable event which was being put forward by the Duke of Edinburgh, His Royal Highness Prince Philip. And they arrived late. And of course, as they arrived, you know, it's normally the wrong way around to do things, but they'd been uh, derailed, as it were. So they arrived at this very prestigious variety club event. And as they walked in, Prince Philip stopped and said hello and Tommy Cannon said hello sir and walked past. Bobby Ball, the cheeky one of the two with the braces, shouted all right cocker and went to sit down. This apparently stunned the room but not too much His Royal Highness Prince Philip. What was interesting was you know as Bobby said he literally just caught off guard and it was the first thing one of his catchphrases that came to mind that he said. A week later they were booked to appear at the Royal Variety Performance and perhaps wondering whether they would still get the booking or not they intrepidly went along, went down a storm in front of the Royals and meeting the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh backstage Her Majesty the Queen came up to the duo and said oh I knew you, you were northern you know you were so jovial so funny really enjoyed the act absolutely splendid but what shocked the queen was as the duke of edinburgh came up behind her he turned to bobby ball and said all right cocker how are you this literally made her jump she looked at him it's on camera and as if what you know and then of course they had to explain the joke at the side of the stage apparently the queen was in a fit of giggles with this wonderful northern catchphrase and it just goes to show exactly in private moments how truly they were more down to earth than their media perception allowed but it's nice to know and share these stories isn't it with people about exactly how well comedy really does rock the royals
Cannon and Ball, as I say, if you haven't checked them out, they had a spectacular career. And as I also pointed out, you know, Tommy's still very much with us, touring up and down the country. They've made millions laugh, but it seems nobody made the Queen laugh off guard more than Bobby Ball in that one moment. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.